Hey everybody, this is Brian, and welcome to the 13th Q tutorial with C++. Um, today we're going to cover resource files, and as you can see, I already have a project open. If you're wondering what this is, watch the 12th Q tutorial, uh, Q file. We cover reading and writing files, and what I've done is I've taken that same program and I've stripped it down. I've gotten rid of the write function, and if you scroll down into the main, you see I'm just doing read and then quote unquote, meaning I'm not reading anything. So we simply have our read function, and I'm going to go over this real quickly. We have a Q file, Q string, Q debug, and Q text string. And our read function simply takes a file name parameter. We use that file name to open a Q file object. Here we are for Q file read only. And if, of course it doesn't open, we're just simply returning, printing out, we couldn't open it. Then we're creating a Q text stream and we are reading all of the contents and printing those contents out into Q debug and then closing the file. So let's get on to the meat of this tutorial right click in your project somewhere and go add new select cute and select resource file now what is a resource file well first thing let's just create one we'll call it my resource my resources and hit next finish and you are presented with this big blank thing what is this well this is your resource file what is a resource file a resource file is a collection of data that can be put inside your executable when it's compiled and then you can access that data at runtime. Um, the way Qt does it is you, it creates a QRC file which is actually an XML file and you have to add what's called a prefix or it's kind of like a directory path so we'll say um, my files is the prefix and then we will add a file. Now you can actually add a file and for this I'm just going to add the project file for this actual project and you can see the contents of the file up here just for the sake of argument that's what I added but you can add whatever you want so the full path of this would be slash my files slash files dot pro that's what a prefix is it allows you to divide things up I mean you can make another prefix you know and yeah another one and you could have like your own little directory structures in here and you can add you know say uh, we're going to add main.cpp in there and you can just keep going and going and going but uh, we're going to keep this nice and simple and we just have the my files prefix and we've got the files.pro or the project file I've just added it in there and let's go back in here and what we need to do is read that so how do you read out of a resource file well you add a colon you say my my files slash files.pro. That is very simple. It's how you read it. So when we compile and run this, you see the QDebug prints out the contents of that file. Now it's not actually reading files.pro, it's actually reading from the resource file that's embedded inside this executable. That in a nutshell is the nitty gritty of how to work with resource files. Um, once again, you can put quite literally just about anything in a resource file. And for um, later on in the tutorial, we will get into translating your applications. And something I haven't covered yet is how and why you would do that. And a lot of times you'll actually put lists of strings in resource files, or you use the Qt translation tools, which we'll cover in later tutorials. But for this tutorial, and I realize this is a very quick one, we're just covering resource files. And you should know that a resource file is just a .qrc, and it's quite literally just an XML file and Qt puts the information in the XML file and then it's compiled and added into the executable at runtime you read that out by prefixing it with a colon and then the the path or the prefix that you added and then the file name and that's all there is to it so thank you for watching I hope you found this video educational and entertaining and I'll see you next time